Hi, my name is Frederick Renaud. Um, I go by Freddy, and I am a cellist. I play the cello. Um, what I like most about the cello, um, actually, what I like, I like playing in general. I don't think I have something that I like the most, but I do like how it fits comfortably in a lot of ranges. It it's just very comforting to hold to have in front of you. Like it's an instrument, you sit like this. I, I think we all know how a cello works, and <laughs> and it, it's just really nice because it's this beautiful instrument that makes these beautiful sounds, and it's just like in my space, and I'm in its space, and we share this space, and um, there's just music happening, and it's it's really nice. It's physically comforting for me to hold my instrument and play. Um, when I started playing the cello, I I was around. 12, 12 years old, and um, I also played piano starting at the age of four, but I completely switched over to cello when I was around 16 or 17. That's when I decided, like, oh, I'm going to be a cellist. Like, this is what I'm going to do. Um, besides playing, I do a lot of improvisation. I love improv. Um, I dabble in composing. Um, I am writing an EP that hopefully I can get done in the next year or two. Um, that's just filled with my favorite instruments, um, piano, cello, and tenor saxophone. Love it. Um, what I like about playing music is that it's just, it's just a cool way for me to express either myself or just to show things. I like, I like the fact that, you know, we have these composers and they, you know, they write stuff on this piece of paper and, um, you're looking at it, you're reading it and you're just like... What is this supposed to mean? And you as a musician, you get to take what's on that piece of paper and share it with people who can't read that or people who can read that, who just have a different interpretation. Um, and just like text, there's a lot of different ways to interpret different things. And I feel like as a musician, you get to show that in a different way without using your words and your interpretation. It's all combined in the music. And I think that's one of the special things about being a musician. Um, so Lyra... Lyra rep. Um, I started Lyra um, in the summer of 2017 after I graduated high school. So I was 18 years old at the time as a student. And um, I've I've attended for the next two summers, basically up, up until COVID. And the last two years that I was there, I was there as a junior counselor, which was a great experience. My favorite things about Lyra is that um, it's small. Um, you get you really get to know everyone on a close, you know, very close-ish relationship with everyone, and um, it's really nice. The kids there are nice. Um, it has this very homey feel, especially where we were um, in Smith College. Um, my entire time there, um, the the dorms were like kind of like how town house, housey town. Housey. Um, and it just felt like a big old family, and it, it was really cool. Young musicians that come to Lyra, I would definitely say it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you get to meet very, very good musicians in the master classes, and, you know, just the students that are there. Um, if you think this is, you know, the most intensive, you know, you sit down, you practice for hours, you got a concert master class. It's not that. It's it's just, you know, a group of students. To me, it's just a group of students, you know, excelling in music together. And having that togetherness is a really important part of being there. Um, I feel like it's one of the most important aspects that makes this festival so successful. Um, and it, it really does a lot of good for a lot of students there. So, right now, I am 21 years old, turning 22 in a couple days. Um... And I had just graduated from the Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, studying with Rhonda Ryder. And for my graduate degree, I am moving to the West Coast in San Francisco. And I am going to be studying with Jennifer Culp at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Thank you for listening and go to Lara. <laughs>